This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Presented by EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour. Hello again and welcome, Rich Lerner, alongside Frank Navolo. Really looking forward to the action today here at Whistling Straits. What a stunning layout overlooking Lake Michigan here in Kohler, Wisconsin. And what a great test, Frank, kind of a, a, at least in terms of the look, a seaside links. It, it is. It's also one of those golf courses, Rich, that you normally play better the second time around. And the reason why I say that, Pete Dye is the master of visual intimidation. So when you first play Whistling Straits, you'll think some of those lines are much tougher or you'll go to the wrong side. Once you've been around there once, you realize, aha, I've got to hit it down the right rather than the left and things start to make more sense. But Frank, in true links golf, you can generally run the ball up along that ground. Here, you have to put it up in the air, don't you? You certainly do, yeah. It's links golf played through the air. Beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. This is EA Sports PGA Tour coverage coming your way. Hello again and welcome. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabila. We're at Whistling Straits, Long Lake, Michigan, Kohler, Wisconsin. And this golf course was first established in 1998. Frank, what are some of the key scoring holes out here? Well, two of the par fives, the second hole and the 16th, probably give you the best chance really to reach those in two. And then there's uh, 
A few short par fours really to look at, 6, 10 and 13. Actually, you could even throw 14 in that would give you the best chance on those short fours. Um, par threes are really tough, so just uh, be very wary on those par threes. Oh, this has taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. With well, that ball nestled down just a bit in that heavy rough. Huge with a capital H. Moved it a long ways. Frank, in golf, as we know, there's short grass and there's long grass. We all want to be in that short grass, but it doesn't always work out that way. So what's the most important element from the shot, from the rough? You have to be a little bit more conservative first and foremost because you can't guarantee a perfect strike out of the long grass. So therefore, you have to look around around the greens, maybe short, to the right, to the left, and realize what's involved. And also, just give yourself a slightly bigger target. Frank did the prudent thing there, didn't he? Yeah, in the end, really, you could have turned that into a disaster instead. Actually, a good chance, really, to uh, perhaps get away with par. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Try to scramble here. He's giving himself a chance for par. First hole here at Whistling Straits, and Frank, what's the key? Favor the right side of the green uh, to avoid those deep bunkers short left and long. And getting ready for the putt. So just getting started, even par so far. These putts keep the round together. Steady as she goes, another par, and still even for the round. Frank Bold is beautiful here at Whistling Straits, and this second hole is for the bold, isn't it? Well, even though it's just under 600 yards, it is reachable for the long hitters. Uh, ideally, you want to hit it down the left side, because that way you can see the green. Um, there is bunkers left, and there is bunkers right. And that's going to stay on the fairway here at the second hole. Rhythm, tempo, balance, that golf swing, just perfect. Nice position, short grass, second shot. Good chance at one. Big swing right there, and a great result, and now a chance for a big swing in momentum with an eagle coming up. And he steps up to take this shot from the fairway. One of the things I think that's captivated the audience now with Rory McIlroy 
is he's doing things that we thought only one other player could do, and that's Tiger Woods. When you can street fields in a major championship by you know, nearly double figures, that's when you're in the class of And I know that's stadium the other. He has a gear, Frank, that I don't think other players have. You might be rolling along at 95 miles per hour, and you think you're moving, and you look to your right, and you blink, go, who, who was that? Somebody just went by me, and he's doing 125 and making it look easy. This kid is really special. She has something going now to two under. All right, Frank, how do you like the look of the first part three in the golf course, the third hole? Well, you have a good look at Lake Michigan for a start. That's uh, certainly not where you want to hit it, though. Um, really use the green, the shape of the green, which angles to the left. You know, a solid strike right in the heart of the green. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Settles in over the putt. Nice, solid start to the round. Tita Green looks to be in command. Yeah, it's surprising. I thought he might have been a little shaky out of the gate, but uh, certainly proved me wrong. Has to feel good at three under par in the early going. Onto the fourth hole at this PGA Championship here at Whistling Straits. Ideally, you'd like to hit it down the right side because everything sort of cambers towards Lake Michigan. Putting everything into this one. Just destroy it. Good tee shot right in the short grass. Tom Weisskopf was one of my idols growing up. I loved the way he swung. That swing right there reminds me of my idol. And it looks like Rory McIlroy, Frank, sticking the follow-through. Oh, come on, that's not even human. That's ridiculous. That is 350-plus yards. Let's see what McIlroy does now with his second. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Probably going to have to hit one more club here, Frank. Little bit uphill. Sizable putt from 16 feet. Good read, good line. Well played. Now a chance for a birdie. Good putt and a good move. Now to four under. Here at Whistling Straits, and they call this hole Snake. Frank, how do you avoid getting bitten by it? Well, if you go left, there's water. If you go right, there's water. Uh, this hole is anything other than straight, so it suits its name. Somehow find the fairway. Best way to play this is treat it as a three-shotter.
Outstanding tee shot. Yeah, ball sitting up. You don't have to worry about the wind or anything there. You just take a full-blooded cut at the second shot from here. Now the second shot here at this par five. Appears to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. That one's running so hot. Second shot. That is just an outstanding shot right there. And now a chance for an eagle. Locked in on the read and the speed. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. So we'll tap in. Now at five under for the round. Set to go now at the sixth. It's a pretty short par four. Yeah, slight dog leg to the right, but you can play it straight away. There's a series of bunkers down that left side, and then they really choke the fairway at about 320 yards. What a great shot. Good strike. Good lie. Good chance to attack the pin. Oh, that's fine. Frankie's cranking it and banking it. Giant drives, a boatload of birdies. What a round. Yeah, these are the days you just dream for. Uh, we know golf's not that easy, but on a day like today, savor it and just keep going. Keep doing it. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a formality now. Setting up for the approach, this player in total command. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, the decision making, club selections being spot on, but uh, the execution, the swing, is, uh, is really what I'm admiring right now. For Birdie. So, with that make. Now it's seven under par. Everybody loves him. Birdie on the car. On the seventh tee now, and a tricky 221-yard par three. If you have a look at the way in which Pete Dye has designed this hole, you can see that the green shapes away to the right. So if you can bring the ball in from the left, it's certainly desirable. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Oh my goodness, Frank. I think that baby went in.
That will be a great look at birdie. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Routine stuff for Rory, that's a par. Frank, check out all the bunkers on the right. <laughs> I can't count them on one hand, that's for sure. Just um, an another example of how Pete Dye has just uh, has gone to work in the way in which he's, he's protected these holes. Wow, I mean, she absolutely annihilated that tee ball. I knew it right away. Picked up the tee, didn't even look at it. We can see it. It's perfect, right down the middle of the fairway. Well, this one has a chance to be really good. That's a good spot right there. Senate Cup. This is how the game is supposed to be played. This has been just outstanding. Beautiful to watch. Frank, when we stop staring at Lake Michigan in the background, what should we be focusing on? Well, somehow you're going to have to thread a long iron in between those bunkers right and Lake Michigan. This could be a good one. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. With these downhill shots, really the key is always balance, and maybe you want to take a little bit of a wider setup, and then club selection obviously is important. You maybe take a little less club and just try not to overswing. Ten foot putt left. Good stroke, just came up empty. He has a birdie opportunity here. How about seven under par now? Just a little tap in here. Did the job right there. Frank, what about this downhill shot off the tee and the idea that you just want to sort of let that ball run toward the green down the hill? Well, Pete Dye just gives you so many different looks um, throughout the front nine, the whistling straights, and, and this really is the first example of this, plus the, the swirling winds that are created by that sort of tree and the mounding on the right of this green. Quite spectacular. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Hold on here a second. She is winding up for a big one. She wants to smash this. Far as she can hit it. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. This is a good looking shot. You can't hide the flag stick from that man. He is just uh, unbelievable that that never deviated offline. set now over the putt. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Count that. That's a birdie. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side. But, Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Whoop, 
Marcus has taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. They'll pay a little bit of a price for missing the fairway here because from that rough, you cannot control the spin on the golf ball. It's got to be 300 yards, isn't it? Frank, safety off the tee. Now what happens on this second shot? This green, Rich, is just elevated a little bit. So you can't just sort of grab a wedge and just hit away willy-nilly. You've got to be careful. Here. You must flight that shot in properly to make it soft, land softly on this green. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Well, just a little too much, Rich. I don't know if it was wind at his back. He didn't calculate it, but he's... Well, how do you like that? He's holding. Just a phenomenal play right there. So a tester from four feet. Well, the great hits just keep coming. Moves to minus 11 on the deck. 645-yard par 5, 11th. They call this hole the sandbox, and hopefully, Frank, you're not picking up the shovel here. Yeah, I don't care who you are. If you're reaching this par five and two, then uh, you don't belong in this planet. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. Not quite what he wanted. Tee shot is in the bunker. Excellent, perfect position. Ball's just sitting up, too. Uh, you could hit anything from there. All right, Frank, second shot. Yeah, it looks like a good like. Um, just take maybe half a club more than the distance uh, distance allows. Still got to check the wind. Don't have to fly the ball all the way to the flag from here. Slight miss, and they'll have to deal with some of the heavy grass. And now the second shot here at this par five. Yeah. Appears to be tracking well. Big swing right there, and a great result. And now a chance for a big swing in momentum with an eagle coming up. And setting up here in the rough. Really like to have that one back in the bunker. Still a chance to get it up and down. Getting set now for his fourth shot from the bunker. And just take the right amount of sand behind the ball. Don't want to get it uh, too clean. Locked in on the read and the speed. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. That is a solid par putt right there. Frank, the previous hole, we took out the sledgehammer. Now at the 12th, you'll need a scalpel, it looks like. Yeah, at 163 yards, you wouldn't think it's very long. But really, the problem is the green. You can pitch the ball in the middle of the screen, and still it can kick over. So be very, very aware of the mounding and the undulations on this green. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Dialed in once again. She has played a superb approach shot. Frank, about 150 yards to that whole location.
These putts keep the round together. This has a good ring to it. Minus 14. He's made it. Frank here at the 13th. It's pretty obvious where the trouble is. Yeah, all right. That's for sure. Plus Lake Michigan there if you go even further right. But at 402 yards, don't have to hit driver down here. Even a three wood, three wood and a wedge would get you home here. So remember, fairway first, then set up the scoring chance. Beautiful swing there. Ah, uh, nice. Looks good. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plushed carpeting.